lightjunction.com. Illuminate your world. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is Brian from Light Junction. And this is Alan. We're shooting a video tonight and we're going to compare the difference between lumen output and beam distance. And just because that the lumen output is greater doesn't mean the light is better for the application you're going to use it for. Right, the, lum the lumen doesn't directly correlate to the throw distance. A lot of people just strictly go after lumens and they think that higher lumen automatically means better. That's not always the case because lumen measured is like a spherical measurement. It kind of measures all the light output where throw depends more on a focused point and a, a focused hot spot to get you that farther distance. Well said. So the first two lights we're going to compare, they're both O lights. They're both lights that can fit in the palm of your hand. I'm holding the SR Mini Intimidator. This light is... 2400 lumens and just over 220 meters worth of maximum beam distance and in comparison this light is 1200 lumens but 580 meters throw and let's hold them up side by side so they can see about the size difference you see the big key difference here about the same size body light but this has that deeper head to give you a more focused beam out of fewer lumens so which light is that you're working with? This is the SR52 Intimidator. All right, so let's turn them on here. I'm going to start with turning mine on, on turbo, high lumen output. And we're at 200 feet from this wall right now. So this is high. This is 2,800 lumens. At 200 feet, this is what it looks like on the wall. I'm going to shut mine off here. Now, in comparison, again, 1,200 lumen light, but 580 meter throw, this is what it looks like at 200 feet. So you can see that, the, I mean, it's, it's night and day difference. The spot pattern, that one is a really tight spot beam and completely illuminates that wall back there. So I can turn this up? one on at the same time, and you almost can't tell the difference in the spot pattern of his light. This one just floods out the entire area, but you don't really get a good light pattern on the wall. Look, look what happens when you turn on the light that's meant for throw distance. So there's the primary difference between lights that are meant to flood and lights that are meant to throw. Let's give you another example here. Here's your light, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, we're gonna step it up a notch as far as lumen intensity. We're gonna stay with Olight. This guy is the SR96 Intimidator. It's got three LEDs. This puts out a scorching 4,800 lumens, but at a little bit over a 300 meter beam distance. Now this one gets a little bit of a jump in lumens at 5,000. Yeah. At 5,000 lumens, but jumps up to 640 meters. So a lot better throw. And if you remember the 1200 lumen one that we just had a moment ago, or that I was using a moment ago, was still 580 meters. So even though this jumps up to 5,000 lumens and it's more focused than this light, it still only reaches 60 meters further than that little handheld I had a moment ago. So let's compare these two. I'll start by turning mine on first. 4,800 lumens, really bright. I mean, you can see it floods out this entire parking lot back here. So if there's anybody coming, you're gonna set them on fire <laughs> from any direction they're coming from. So <coughs> 4,800 lumens, but with only about a uh, 300 plus meter beam distance. Now let's see what the big boy will do. Cutting that one off? Are you keeping it on? No, I'll turn it off. I gotta turn the battery pack Help on. Help if I turn the battery pack on. This one's got two on buttons. All right, let's crank this sucker up to high. There we go. There we go. So that's the X6. 200 lumens brighter, but twice the beam distance. And you can see how much lighter the wall is compared to the SR96. I'll turn this one on, on top of it. Look, almost no difference in the wall. All that light's being flooded out to the ground and to the area around you. Yeah, and if you can see the ground a little bit, you can kind of see when he turns the light on on the ground, 
but if you look straight at the wall, you can't even see when the SR95 or SR96 is on. Yeah, so we'll do it the opposite way. You turn yours on, I'm going to turn the SR96 on, and we'll see what happens when the X6 goes over top of it. There you go. Proof is in the pudding. That light blasts right through the center of this one because it is meant to throw and not flood. So there you go. We just showed you the difference between lights of kind of two different calipers. Uh, pretty decently high lumens to really high lumens and you know, the, not all lights are the same. Brighter is not always better. It's all about what you need to use it for. Yeah, and again, we just want to emphasize that we're not saying lumens don't have a place in your decision, but keep in mind, lumens encompass the whole spread of the light where throw is more focused. So just because it's more lumens doesn't mean it's going to go as far or work as well in a, in a situation where you need a long-reaching light. But if you want a nice big floody light that's going to cover a wide area, then lumens are going to be one of your go-to statistics to look at. If you have any questions about these lights or any other lights, uh, we're at www.lightjunction.com. You can buy them here. You can chat with us online, call us, shoot us an email. If you have more questions about the lights we just shot or about any other lights in our catalog or lights we don't have, or you just want to pick our brains about anything else we might know about lights, contact us. We'll be happy to talk with you. Stick around. We're going to shoot a lot more videos in the future. These lights are attracting so many bugs. Yeah, they are. Let's get out of here. <laughs>